Riding the wave of handheld consoles, Asus plans to enter the market in a big way with their ROG Ally. Essentially, a handheld gaming machine capable of playing any game playable on PC from any client, whether Steam, EA Play, or whatever. There's been plenty of commentary surrounding the Asus ROG Ally and its similarities to Steam Deck. Whilst both are handheld consoles, Asus are clearly positioning the ROG Ally as a more premium option. It sports performance features and hardware specifications superior to Valve's handheld too. Here are things you need to know before purchasing the Asus ROG Ally. It'll run Windows 11. Comparisons to Steam Deck are rife, but fair, but one factor that'll surely sway many is the ROG Ally will run Windows 11, and this version of Microsoft's operating system isn't a diet, handheld variant, but a full, fat version too. Many PC gamers have amassed game libraries across different clients, Steam, Epic Game Store, itch.io, EA Play, etc, etc, and having these accessible from one handheld is a major selling point over the Steam Deck's limitation to Steam. Armory Crate Software Included This Asus app helps gamers manage every aspect of their PC, from setup and updates to performance profiles and cooling settings, with customization options like RGB adjustments along as well. And there will be a version dubbed Armory Crate SE pre-installed on ROG Ally. A core feature of this SE version is its collation of entire game libraries, and instead of launching games from the Steam or itch.io client, for example, games can be launched from one singular app instead. Dual Mode Controls Asus ROG Ally is designed with button configurations mirroring Xbox controllers, with a pair of UI buttons either side of the screen, plus paddles to the rear. To function perfectly whether in-game or navigating through Windows, the ROG Ally's control features two modes, a conventional mode for during play and a mode for Windows, with the left thumbstick mimicking a mouse with the rear paddles emulating left and right clicks. Ryzen Z1 Extreme Asus is set to offer two ROG Ally modes, the most powerful of which boasts an AMD Ryzen Z1 Extreme and a 512GB Gen 4 SSD. AMD recently shared benchmark performances test results for its Ryzen processors running some demanding games. Red Dead Redemption 2 maintained an average FPS of 72.3, Forza Horizon 4 achieved 143 FPS. These results, whilst impressive, were achieved with lowish settings and upscaled 720p resolution. Ryzen Z1 the less powerful of the two ROG Ally models ships with a vanilla AMD Ryzen Z1 and 256GB SSD. It will still perform well, with slim loading times expected even for this lesser variant. In the same performance test as its more powerful sibling Red Dead Redemption 2, it averaged 41.8 FPS with Forza Horizon 4 sitting at 119.3, again with low settings upscaled from 720p, demonstrating performance will still be smooth and playable in HD. up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. Asus has established that up to 16 gigabytes of LPDDR5 dual channel RAM will be available. 1080p display. Comparing to the Steam Deck again, but the Asus ROG Ally comes equipped with a 1080p display versus the 720p display on the Steam Deck, representing a sizable bump in pixel count. One thing's for certain, 1080p will look crisp and sharp on the ROG Ally. Also of note is the screen's 500 nits of brightness and 7 milliseconds of response time. Up to 120Hz refresh rate The ROG Ally's 1080p display features a variable refresh rate between 30Hz and 120Hz. That's potentially up to twice the capability of Steam Deck's maximum 60Hz. Gaming performance at those upper refresh rates will be smooth as silk, although running at 120Hz will surely be a surefire way to rapidly drain battery so in practical terms, it's unlikely to be a consistent setting. Connects to Asus XG Mobile Docking Station A high-end feature, sure, owing to XG Mobile's premium price tag, but for those in possession of Asus's mobile docking station, equipped with super-powerful NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 gaming laptop GPU, the ability to run games from ROG Ally at maximum settings through the XG Mobile outputting to a gaming monitor with of course the option to then use the keyboard and mouse or external controller. This transforms the handheld into a powerhouse. Playtesters of this setup are reporting more than playable performance. The only stumbling block for most will surely be the price. 
connects to monitor or TV. The ROG Ally processes two ports, a 3.5mm headphone jack and an Asus XG mobile port, with part of the XG mobile port is a USB-C port. The HDMI 2.0 port of course will allow the ROG Ally to connect to TVs and monitors. Battery Life Asus claim ROG Ally's battery life will be comparable to Steam Deck, but only when running at 15 watts. Valve advertised the Steam Deck as possessing a battery life of anywhere between 2 to 8 hours, although for the most intensive games, it's obvious batteries will flatten at the lower end of the scale. Ultra Quiet Cooling Another of Asus's claims is that ROG Ally will operate ultra quietly, owing to its cooling system marketed as the Zero Gravity Thermal System. It's a dual fan system with ultra thin heatsink fins and high friction heat pipes, ensuring the ROG Ally stays cool in any orientation. Playtesters are, to be fair, reporting the ROG Ally as running very quietly, indeed, too. Dolby Atmos Speakers the Asus ROG Ally will come equipped with dual front-facing Dolby Atmos speakers. To the uninitiated, Dolby Atmos is a spatial audio system that places the track's audio in a three-dimensional space. In other words, it's capable of making sound appear as if it's coming from all directions. Price For the less powerful ROG Ally with the vanilla Ryzen Z1, pricing is $599.99. The model housing the Ryzen Z1 Extreme with 512GB of storage is $699.99. Hey, did you know that we at Gaming Bolt upload new videos every day? Stick around, drop a like, subscribe, and hit that bell. And let us know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future with a comment below.